Hey guys, Dan Dawson. Great to see you again. I thought if you were doing anything, uh, got a couple of minutes, maybe we could take a little walk. Most of you know probably I'm here in downtown. Well, not downtown, down in South Florida. And I'm just taking a walk along a canal. Just needed a break. Came out of Home Depot like everybody else did something. Have a few minutes, just wanted to walk. There goes some fish. Just walking along the water can make you feel really good. The more life you see, the more alive you can feel. This is true, believe it or not, for those of you that don't know it. Try it sometime. Speaking about abundance and life and how important it is, everybody, not everybody, but most people it seems know that out in the ocean there's a special type of weed called sargassum. It floats on the surface and it's a nursery for just about everything that grows in the ocean from the smallest to the biggest and then the biggest are swimming along it because all kinds of fish are feeding on what's in there and they're feeding on them from the smallest to the biggest and most apex but a lot of people don't know that in freshwater we have these lily pads I mean people know that but what they don't know is about these floating grasses these floating grasses oftentimes start from a shoreline. They'll grow in a little clump. They'll grow out in a peak, and a storm or a current will pull them away, and they'll float somewhere, and they can grow in any water depth on the surface. They'll collect, just like other things, sticks, any debris, and it'll have detrius and all kinds of life inside of it. You wouldn't believe the amount of shrimp and crayfish inside these weeds. Not right now, but soon I'm going to take a walk with you. And we're going to pull some of these up like I used to do when I was a teenager. We would do it for stuff and giggles, I'll say, to be polite. And uh, we also did it for bait. But we caught sirens, mud puppies, every kind of eel that's in freshwater, every kind of baby turtle, every kind of baby catfish, baby bass, baby shiners. It was just phenomenal the amount of life that would be inside of a clump. And so we're going to take another look one day, but in the meantime, do a little experimenting yourself and check these grasses out. But the most important thing to do is don't ruin them. And if you can, in the right way, promote them. Now anything in overabundance isn't good, but floating islands in the right places can promote so much life. So keep this in mind, and I just wanted you to know, as usual, you know, could be just sitting on the couch. If you are, I got to take you for a walk. Hopefully you'll use some of the information that I give you and get involved to make our world a better place. So until next time, this is Dan checking out. Take care.